Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, August 22, 2023. Meet our 1951 18-foot stern engine drive Penyan President who was originally sold in 1951, painted post New York by Buzz Martin. How do we know? What you see in front of you is a Buzz Martin trademark burgie. Buzz put this burgie on every Penyan he sold. He was one of the major retailers of Penyan boats from 19. Right after World War II, 1946, through the floods of 1972. And we lost him in 1995. These are classic penyans in many respects in terms of their construction. You have strip tight construction on the hull sides. The hull sides are double planked, the bottom's double planked decks are finished as would be a Chris Craft or other boats of the period but there were precious few of these presidents actually sold and finding authoritative information on them was extremely difficult I do know I bought her from her second owner, who at that time was living in Watertown, Connecticut. She has an original engine. Well, actually, everything in this boat was there in 1951 when Buzz Barton sold the boat. We've had the hardware all restored by DNS Custom Metal Restoration in Holyoke, Mass. We've had her gauge panel restored by Shauna Whiting, Goshen Instruments. Her work just continues to blow away anything anybody else accomplishes in North America when it comes to instrument rejuvenation. Just superb. We did strip the boat to bare wood including the ceilings, but in the case of the ceilings, we sanded the bare wood only to the point where it was smooth enough to build varnish and was not, uh, had not lost all of its age. The flooring, as with every other painted surface on this boat, is Chinese red. Chinese red paint was supplied by TJ Amato and PenyanBoats.com. TJ did some research for us, found the formulation for this color, and his records show that these presidents were red on the inside, red below the waterline, Varnished everywhere else. The upholstery, also thanks to TJ Amato, is the same material that Penyan originally used to upholster this boat. It is Chinese red Russelloid. And uh, Mark's upholstery just did a wonderful job duplicating. Hull sides were tight, so we went through our standard preservation experience. We did release the spray rails, as is our practice, so we're going to be sure we've got nothing but good wood behind. But you see, I'm kind of inching away along the hull. Maybe you wonder why. Well, maybe this is why. This is what you mean 
by a stern engine drive safety strut propulsion system. This is absolutely original. And if you read some of the literature we've included with the video, this boat is just incredible, and I can attest to that fact. In a following sea, you can roar full, full tilt because it's heavy sterned and, and light bowed. And since the propulsion is actually two feet beyond the transom, she just roars unbelievably. When it comes time to take a turn, just crank it. She'll turn on a dime not complain a bit. This entire safety strut is cast bronze. As you might guess, it is, it is all there. It is original, of course. This is the lifting ring, the aft lifting ring. And Penyan realized that if a lifting line was attached here and coming up, it would have just destroyed the varnish in this area. So they included this wonderful little bracket for the lifting line to run in. The engine box is original. Several people have asked, gee, why was it done in that plywood? Wasn't that all fabric? Well, TJ assures me that these presidents were all done in this manner. There was not upholstery added to the engine box, to the backside of the amidship seating, or to the helm seat. So you'll notice this is an 18 foot boat, but it can sit two in the, what I call church pew helm seat, which is fully adjustable by the way. You can fit three in the amidship seat. You have a nice companion way around both of those seating areas. And then finally here in the back, <laughs> I've had people say, oh, you can sit three people back here. One of them's going to have to be mighty short. Now we come to the trailer. I don't just buy trailers off the shelf. Every trailer under beneath the boat that leaves our collection, and many of those owned by our clients, are custom built by Loadmaster Trailer Company Limited in Port Clinton, New York. As an example, this boat was fully measured before the design team at Loadmaster even began thinking about lofting a trailer. But they did, and I want to tell you, their motto is, if, if two bunks are enough, four are better. And most of them have four, or five, or six even. So our walk around is just about complete. We're just about all the way around. Ah, the one final piece, her Phantom, dual carb six, 112, was fully rebuilt by Robert Henkel, Peter Henkel Incorporated, Chris Craft Parts in Marine City, Michigan. We left it at six, Volts, simply because this boat is so original, so pure, that we just could not justify. But we did think about safety. She has a fire suppression system, Fireboy Zintex fire automatic clean agent fire protection system underneath that engine box because if you were driving way up here forward and there started to be fire issues back there it, 
be too long before you discovered what was happening. So we put in that safety system. So with that, as my wife and I begin the process of passing our collection on to others, here is one you must, you just must consider. You're not going to find another one. And if you do, you certainly won't find one as pure, as show ready, let's say even as museum display ready as this Penyan president, stern engine drive runabout. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.